1944, my father and his family took part in the Warsaw Uprising, again defending their city, their country, and their democracy. But they were captured, and the entire family were placed in concentration camps. Now, my father subsequently was liberated by General Patton and General Patton's Third Army. My parents both survived, and my parents lived in Poland, enduring years of communist rule before giving up everything in their native country to come to the United States with my brother and I in tow, not speaking a word of English and not knowing a single person. For what reason? For the reason of seeking freedom and coming to this country which offers all our fundamental freedoms and opportunities. While there have been great progress in the fight for freedom in countries such as Poland and in countries such as Estonia, the country where I served as the United States Ambassador, but communism is not a thing of the past. Shades of communism are apparent in many countries in the world. They are often concealed, and they're concealed behind advocacy for a greater good and social justice. Therefore, it is our obligation to teach future generations the truth. The truth that communist ideology is responsible for crimes against humanity. As President Bush stated at the dedication of this monument, evil is real and evil must be confronted. Our mutual obligation is to teach history because without the knowledge of the past, how can we possibly correctly interpret the present and make proper decisions for the future? This monument should serve as a constant reminder to us that as President Ronald Reagan said, quoting him, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. It is to be fought for, protected, and handed down to the next generation. Thank you.